um, you go to this toilet and, you know, poop inside the tree. Like, imagine you're digging through the leaves to go inside. And it's privacy, too. Like, who's gonna see you here? Nobody's gonna see you! <laughs> see? Yeah, perfect. <laughs> I'm hiding. You've all been probably expecting this if you if you read the title. Um, I'm gonna be building a block warehouse today inside a cherry blossom tree. Technically, a tree house is just a house in a tree, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, now that I think about it a little bit more, I feel like it could be difficult to um, build a house in here. I don't know. Um, wish me luck. Uh, and don't mind those crates. I, I was messing around with them. Okay, and today's color code is brought to you by... <laughs> Geico, just kidding. Julie's Creative Corner, who says it's pretty. I agree, that is pretty. It is a nice, it's like a perfect shade of blue. It's like baby blue, sky blue, you know? I love this, thank you. I've, I've used it before, but it's okay. Cherry Blossom Tree House. Uh, our main thing for today is this cherry blossom tree, which if you, you know, if you turn the leaves green, it just, it can look like a pretty good normal tree as well. Let's go ahead and rescale it all the way because we want it to be maximum size, which cost five thousand dollars to do that but anyways we're gonna try and create a home in here and um i don't know if i want to like put multiple of the i think i can put multiple of these cherry blossom trees together to give myself a bit more like room to work with somehow i don't know if i like combine it i don't know if i want to combine it oh i mean <laughs> it's so dark in here there's no sunlight coming like if you have a bunch of these cherry blossom trees all together you're just gonna have a really dark forest like do you see how scary that is to like not have sunlight be able to go through the leaves and it's just darkness in here yeah dark forest scary vibes i think it would be a bit more difficult if i only had one tree so i might just combine a bunch of trees together I mean, they're all the same anyway. I don't think I can see very well in there. Yeah. Okay. Should I actually like use basic shapes for this? Because I feel like basic shapes, you can definitely do anything with them. You know, that's a lot more effort. Okay. That's a bit more effort. So what if I just put in, okay, now I think about it. I think I might have to move some trees around. I'm gonna have to move some stuff around. Ugh. And how do you even live in here when all of the branches, all the, yeah, all of the branches are in the way. Like, how is that? How are we gonna do that? And I, I love a good building challenge, especially with new update stuff. But it can be done, okay? It's not impossible. It's just really challenging. Let's just add some lights. Look how pretty that is, right? Need to figure out a good way. I think I might have to go basic shaping. A floor. Let's put a floor down. Okay, and then we'll have to we'll have to figure out a staircase eventually. Let's go ahead and place it like I guess here. I guess this could give me a bit more practice with um, the uh, transform tool. Is that what it's called? Transform tool. <laughs> Trans I already forgot the transform game pass. Yes, it is a transform tool. Yeah, let me see. It is transform plus. And I definitely want to use the wood and grain texture. Once again, the wood grain is probably one of my favorite textures to use. Or actually the wood deck would make sense. Maybe for the balcony. I might do wood and grain just for fun. We'll make it out of, um, let's see. We'll make it out of this color right here. I'm going to, I don't know what that color is. It's like a hurricane gray, but slightly lighter. Oh, we could totally have like a, a pretty, a fairly decent home. Don't mind these lights. I will move them um, somewhere else eventually. Like, look at that. That's already pretty, you know? That's already pretty. Okay, and then we're going to need some like... This is going to be a tiny house, guys. This is going to be a tiny home. Oh my gosh. I might have to move some trees again. Just kind of difficult. These branches are in my way. How am I going to make a house in here? What in the world? We could totally make this functional with one counter. The fridge next to the oven? I don't think so. We move this there and then put the fridge here. So we'll have it like that. We're gonna have a single bed because there's no way we're doing a double bed in that. Unless I made a giant tree house. I don't know. I'm just gonna get all of basic stuff for now. Maybe we can like upgrade or change things out. Let's not get what we need. Let's just continue building the shape of this house. We didn't even get the shape done yet. What? This is an idea. Why didn't I just do that? That's that makes things a lot easier. Uh um. Uh, um um i really want to just use regular walls and stuff it would be easier for me i mean it's already technically on the second level kind of this is not the house i was expecting should i go back to the original idea please let me undo up to the custom custom <laughs> okay Ooh. <laughs> Nothing happened. I totally didn't just try a different method where I actually used, you know, regular walls and all of that. <laughs> no, you didn't see anything. Editor me is probably going to include it anyway. I kind of like this idea. It's so cute. It's so cute.
But like getting around this house. Ooh, good luck. Ooh, maybe I could like hide the bed in there. Yeah, that's that looks pretty snug and cozy. Just don't get up straight away. You might get a concussion from that. I almost gave up on this idea because I was like, I don't have skills for it. But I I could do this. It'll be fine. We got this. I believe in us. Mm, yes, I believe in us. As if you guys are building this house. Did I make it a modern house? What if I make it into a modern cherry blossom tree house? Okay, I think that might be our little style. What if I use that new stepladder to get into this house? I could do that. I could I could do it. You know, where's the stepladder? Into a functional regular ladder. Like, can you stack them? No, you can't. But I, with basic shapes, you can. A lot of people want me to build a full-on house without any actual furniture, like basic shape, literally everything. I don't know about that, okay? I'm not that. I'm not that patient. Yeah, this is gonna be very modern-inspired. Modern-inspired treehouse in the cherry blossom trees. Quite wild to think about, but yeah, it is what it is. I don't know. I don't think we're gonna have, like, an actual roof for this house. I think our cherry blossom leaves are the roof and the branches and stuff. We're living literally inside of it. Maybe I'll put some pillars for support as well, because the bottom here looks kind of silly. I'm still building the shape. I have no idea what my layout is like. It, I can see glimpses. I can see glimpse of it, but not much. <laughs> not much. And then I'm gonna build like a mini doorway. I'm gonna make a little doorway for my house. Push this through like that and move it a little bit. Oh, I might have to extend this. That's a small doorway. Who's going through there, a dog? <laughs> okay, how about that? Yeah, I don't even have to worry about the roof because the cherry blossom leaves themselves are the roof. Now, I'm really- <laughs> this is funny though. What if I actually just like layered a bunch of step ladders together? Just combine those to make some sort of staircase. Would that be dumb? I think that's silly. But I kind of am curious, you know, I could just make my own. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> That looks stupid. <laughs> that looks dumb. In theory, this is cool, but um, I don't know what that is. I mean, you can use it. Like, this actually works. It has to work. Yeah, see? It works, but it looks really funny. Look at me. I'm an engineer. <laughs> I'm an engineer. I'm an engineer. Okay, now I'm going to make a fence railing for my... <laughs> for, the, for the balcony area. Just like a small one, I guess. And it's a bit overshot. There we go. Stop being so crooked. Why are you so crooked? I don't know what kind of treehouse this is. Let's figure out a layout within uh with what we can. Let's try and figure out a layout. Yeah, I can put this inside this branch and you just like pee inside this tree. <laughs> you just pee within the tree. What if I put the shower like right here? Yeah, I'm gonna put it inside the tree. So if you need to um just go inside that tree there. That's where you poop, you know? That's where you poop and pee inside that tree. Yeah, the, the sink will be right there. My gosh! Whose branch is this? Okay, there you go. Much better. Oh, that's that was scary. For the kitchen, I'm just gonna put um, some standard stuff right there. Maybe I can actually add another counter right here. Yeah. So we can actually have a pretty pretty good kitchen. It's a functioning kitchen. And then for living room, um, let's just stuff a couch in here. What is a decently sized couch? I feel like I put contemporary in here. Temporary couch. Try to squeeze, but it will work. Trust me. TV stand. Get like a pretty, you know, kind of small TV stand and um, get an actual TV. I think AccuSlim could be pretty good for this house. You'll have to like walk around the TV a little bit to get to the bed, but that is pretty cool. This is going great so far, guys. It's going great. Uh, and then we'll need a carpet, obviously. Carpet is very much needed in this household. And I'm gonna use the lower pattern or a Nice design for my carpet. I love it. Very nice. A little bit rotated. Maybe a little bit smaller too. This is a big rug after all. Yeah, something. Something. Something like that. Honestly, this house is pretty functional. Not gonna lie, it's kind of functional. Like the kitchen's there, living room, we got a bed bed setup going here. And there's a reason why I chose the kids' bed, not only because it's very convenient for our spacing, but you can actually add, of course, like nightstand, typically typical nightstand stuff inside this like shelf here. It comes with a shelf. Actually, I could still fit a nightstand next to it because there's this space here. There is some space here. Okay, never mind. And then I'm actually gonna just fit a few of these like lights around. Actually, can I put like ceiling lights in this place? I don't know how this would work. Oh yeah, I could totally do that. You can kind of hide the lights within the trees. That's kind of cool. Yeah, we could do that. Hide a few of the lights within the leaves themselves and you can still have light in the house. I kind of want to put like a, a bench out here. <gasps> or, 
Um, you think I could have like a dining table outside? I don't know how this would work. Let's see, put some chairs around this too. <laughs> Maybe some stump chairs can go like that. Oh, interesting. Yeah, we could totally fit a dining table up here. Why not? Perfect. There you go. If you want some, if you want a dining table, this is the perfect place to have it. There you go. Centered. Centered as well. Yeah, this is, I mean, cherry blossoms are magical to me, so they're pretty magical. So I think fairy lights around, surround it with fairy lights. I think this could be really, really cool, especially if like you're walking underneath anyways. Now I don't want that light there. I want like fairy lights up on this too. Yeah, something like that. Okay, maybe we reevaluate where we put these string lights. Oh no. I have to make a, like a random pattern now. It's what I did before with the Mediterranean sort of thing. You just gotta have like a bunch of random shapes and such together. Ooh, this is fun. This is so fun. This is great. I'm having a grat, Tim. I don't know how I feel about it. 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 Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add some detailing. I'm gonna add some like decorations and stuff. We need a few more decorations because uh, we may have everything we need, but we could totally add. Maybe I'll have like a white counter kitchen inside. Colors within the house. I'm gonna put a sock. Sock is like a nice clutter for sure. So I'm gonna put like a random sock. I could totally have like a picnicking area. Guys, we're no longer a millionaire. <gasps> That's how much money I've used. Cute, it's just a fun play area at the bottom because like right now it is useless. There's nothing going on down here. So why not have a picnic type of spot? Especially at nighttime, you know, if you want to go outside and eat outside at night underneath your tree house. Sure, go for it, yes. Nah, I think I'm good. Okay, I'm done. All right, guys, my cherry blossom tree house is complete. Uh, it's not quite what I was thinking of when I you know, thought of this idea. Um, but anyways, here's what it looks like. Um, modern has no roof because what was the point of making an actual roof for this when the leaves themselves pretty much cover up the house? You know, like, look at that. That's a roof that those leaves are a roof themselves. So yeah, it's a home, uh, modern, sort of modern. Don't worry, this is glass. There's a glass uh, window here. It's pretty clear. I won't fall out. <laughs> I won't fall out. But yeah, it's pretty simple, I guess. Yeah, okay. So as you walk through outdoors, you have like a, just a chill spot right here. You can read books, yeah, or be one with nature. There's some birds that are gonna be out here with you and you can just connect with them spiritually. There's also a picnic area underneath here in case you just ever want to eat underneath your house at night or during the day. We don't judge. The perfect place to picnic. Yep, with your friends or family. And then when you walk up this ladder here, this is <laughs> this is quite the invention I did. I put I, I put a, a bunch of step ladders above each other to make some sort of custom ladder, I guess. Not even custom. Okay, you're on the balcony. I do not recommend being an adult or a teenager here because you're gonna bump your head on that leaf. And then out here, we have an outdoor eating area with this table. I actually kind of like this. It's cute because we don't have a dining table inside. But when you actually do walk in, we have a um, benching bench spot here. You can sit down, put your shoes on or put your jacket. There's a hat stand, you know, all the things there. Your, your shower is right here too, as soon as you walk in. So that's nice to have. I'm gonna close that though, cause it takes up a lot of space. And then as you continue to go through, this is your kitchen, fully functional. Ooh, who left the sock on the floor? I don't know. But I actually kinda, I think the kitchen looks kinda cool. You get a little window here as well, a little bit, <laughs> barely. Um, yeah, the, the leaves are kind of everywhere inside this house. Then you also have your living room here, which is kind of nice. You have a dresser to change your clothes. You have your bed set up here, which I find kind of cozy. Like, look at this. Kind of cozy. Uh, your bathroom sink. And if you want to use the bathroom itself, um, you go to this toilet and, you know, poop inside the tree. Like, imagine you're digging through the leaves to go inside. And it's privacy too. Like, who's going to see you here? Nobody's going to see you. <laughs> See? Yeah, perfect. The only place you don't have privacy in is the shower. Actually, I think you kind of have a bit of privacy in the shower. Cause yeah, you kind of have some privacy within that shower. Unless you're, yeah, you have a bit of privacy with the shower as well. So four, what's four plus four? <laughs> Eight. But yeah, that's the house. Fully functional. And I think it's kind of a, a decent design as well. It's kind of works. So proud of myself you know i'm proud of myself here but yeah anyway guys that will wrap up today's blockburg episode if you guys enjoyed it you found it interesting dumb inspiring in a way make sure to give it a big old thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button too because it is completely free and i will see you guys in the next video goodbye honestly with how the house actually like works i like it uh exterior wise probably not so much but i feel like it's okay it's all right